Hey there everyone, it's Ryan Frontline Animal Removal. Nine times out of ten, when I'm dealing with a bat, I'm dealing with a big brown bat. But today, I found a different species. Here we have a little brown bat. Now he's little and brown. He looks very similar to a big brown bat. But he's tiny in comparison. So, that's my index finger. Look how big around my index finger fingernail is compared to his head. It's bigger around than his head. Also, his body length is about the same as from my knuckle to the tip of my finger. Very small. Width-wise, well, he's about as wide as my thumb. So this is one teeny tiny bat. And one of the things that does give away a little brown bat is their snout or their muzzle is covered in fur, whereas a big brown bat, there is no fur. His ears are also proportionally longer than a big brown bat's. So, it's neat to see a different species for a change. I'm always dealing with these big browns because they're just everywhere. They're the most common. They love to get in human homes. And just seeing a little brown bat is a really cool thing for me because I don't see them very often, just once in a while. And when you see something different, it takes a few moments to uh, figure out what they are and check them out. So if you got some weird bat stuff going on at your place, give me a call because I love weird.